say hello to my little friends. Hey everyone, Coach Scott here again to help you with another instant challenge. Today we're going to be doing the lily pad. Make sure you subscribe down below if you want to see future challenges. It seems my little friends here, these turtles and frogs, no longer like the water, but they still live in a pond. Our challenge today is to build them lily pads where they can float on the water and not get wet. We have to create the lily pads out of these supplies. We have a piece of paper, a styrofoam ball, two paper clips, two rubber bands, 12 inches of string, four straws, an index card, an envelope, a balloon, and two craft sticks. We're also given a pair of scissors, but these scissors cannot be part of the solution. After we build these lily pads, we're going to put some water in this tub and see if they float. The rules state that the lily pads must fit completely in the tub and cannot be attached to the side of the tub. The rules also state that these little guys cannot be attached to the tub and must stay completely dry. Let's get started. Okay, whenever we're dealing with water and we're given a piece of paper, the first thing we should make is a boat. I'm going to show you how to make a boat out of paper. First, fold it lengthwise. Okay, then unfold it. Now fold it this way. Now you see here, you've got that line, the crease you made. So what you do now is make sure it opens towards you, like a mouth. You want to fold the corner down to that crease line. See how it goes right to that crease line. You want to fold that corner right down to that line. Then you take this corner and you do the same thing. You fold it down to that line. So you see you have the line right there. Now, since this opens up towards you, you take that piece and you're going to fold it up. Fold it just like that. Then you want to tuck these corners down. That corner and that corner. Tuck those down. Flip it over. Now, fold this piece up. When you're folding it up, what you're doing is you're folding it right to where these triangles came down. So you fold it up. You fold these corners over. Just like that. Next step is you want to turn this triangle into a square. How you do that is you open it up like this and you'll see how it starts to fold down. Continue folding down. See that? It has just become a square. Actually more of a diamond. So take your diamond, open it towards you again, now what you're doing is folding this point up to there. So you fold that point up, you flip it over, you fold this point up. Now you have another triangle. Once again, you need to turn this triangle into a square. You can do the same thing you did last time. Keep going to go to the bottom. Pull it open until the sides come down together. We've got another square or another diamond. Now, take that diamond, see where it opens up, put that on the ground, and what you're going to do is you're going to take these two pieces here. See these two corners right here, a corner here and a corner here. You're going to pull them out see how it starts to make a boat with a sail. Sometimes you just got to reach in, fold that sail back up, okay, and now you pull down. See that? You now have a boat. That boat's going to go in the water. 
want to be very careful when you make the boat though. You want to make sure that these tips are folded up a little bit. Otherwise, when we put in the water, it's just going to get water right inside and start to sink. So you see here, I just folded it up just a teeny bit, just to keep the water up. So there's our boat. And this boat is going to be for our two big guys. So we're gonna take this turtle, we're gonna lean him up against the sail, like so. And we're gonna take our frog, put him in the boat. So these guys are ready to go in the water. Now we need to figure out what to do about these guys. We have four more, right? Four small guys. What I'm gonna do Create one big raft for the four of them. Using the envelope, the straws, the paper clips, the index card, and the crafting sticks. Now remember, you don't have to use all the supplies, so I'm not going to use these. I think I can come up with a raft with this. This envelope will be the body of the raft. Obviously, the envelope by itself is not going to float. Straws do a good job floating, but we got to make sure water doesn't get in here, otherwise they're just going to go right underneath, right? So, let's put the two together. Let's actually take straws, put them in the envelope. We're going to use all four straws. Okay. Put all four straws in the envelope. Now, the envelope is a little flimsy. We're going to give it a little bit of stability by taking our index card, putting that in the envelope as well. Kind of like a floor. All right, now we're going to want to seal the envelope up. But, if we sealed it up right now, all the straws are on this side, which doesn't give us a good raft. So we're going to take two straws, move them to this side. Alright, and we want to seal the envelope up like that. So we're going to seal it up. Okay. Now we've got a seal. Now, I can't tell, but I can feel there's two straws here, there's two straws here. So that'll give some nice stability to the raft. However, we don't have anything on this end. We want to give these ends a little bit of stability as well. So I want to put the craft sticks on the bottom of the envelope. We want to make sure that the part we sealed is the top. If you stick down the bottom, it's just going to fill with water and it's going to sink. So, the bottom of the raft, we take a craft stick, just like that. Take a paper clip, put it on. Be very careful not to rip the envelope. See that? Create a hole down there, and we all know what's going to happen. Now we're going to take the other craft stick and we're going to put that one on. Okay, so now I think we've got a pretty stable raft. We've got these two straws on each side and we have these here. I think it'll float pretty nicely. We'll hold all of our guys. Let's see, turtle, 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 and turtle. Look at that. It holds them all. You pick it up. There are our two crafts, so our little friends don't have to get wet. Now, let's go fill up the bucket, give it a test. Okay, we have our bucket filled with some water. Now let's see if we can keep our little friends dry. First, we're going to put in our boat. Look at that. 
nice and dry. Now let's try our raft. See if that's going to be safe. Oh, look at that. Now our friends are dry and safe in their little home. Everybody's happy. We are done. Well, that's it for today's challenge. Hopefully you learned a few tips today. But remember, just because I did it this way doesn't mean you have to. The key is to use your creativity and your imagination to do things your way. Doing that, you'll be able to crash through all of life's challenges and obstacles. The rules and details for this challenge are down below in the description. Also, make sure you subscribe and click that notification bell so that you'll know when the next challenge gets posted.